This one make for sure. Yep. That is definitely our dark horse. It is here. I wasn't sure if I was dreaming last night. Just kidding. This is, uh, just show you, I'm sure some of you guys seen the other video series. We're doing our uh, 22 F-150 Vortex Supercharged. Pretty badass so far. It's been uh, 1101 at 128. Um, and that was with the second gear lead with the uh, centrifugal. But they don't make any torque. That's what everybody says. Anyway, uh, getting ready to get out here. We're going to pull this out, take some pictures of the dark horse for you. Hey guys, Beefcake, Beefcake Racing, uh, ready to do a walk around at the Dark Horse. Didn't get a great walk around yesterday. Uh, we just did a quick pickup at the dealership. We were super busy yesterday. I really wanted to get you guys a little bit more, but we're going to do a walk around to this thing now and check it out. So this is the first thing I'll tell you. Out here in the sunlight, this uh, blue ember, I mean this color, this color is amazing. And, and I'm sure the camera doesn't even do it justice. The sun's bouncing off over here. I want to try to catch uh, catch some of this, but... I mean the metallic in this thing it reminds me it reminds me of like they took the tuxedo black and put it into a blue and i'm very familiar with that because we actually just did tuxedo black on our uh, 2015 uh shop car that we moved all our uh, 10r80 and everything over to um but it reminds me of the tuxedo black but just with a blue let me take you over. I'll show you the window sticker, show you what options we did. So this is a dark horse, uh, blue ember metallic. We did the uh, black blue uh, Dynamica, they call it cloth vinyl seats in this thing. I think the interior looks really good. 2024 dark horse. As you can see, uh, base price, MSRP, 57,970, 8,090 in options, destination and delivery, 1595 for a total of 67,655. Dealership took care of us on it as best as they can, but uh, we got a great deal with that. So we did the premium equipment group, 700A, the premium trim with color accent, $39.95. Uh, tech package, b &O sound system, security package. We did do the dark horse appearance package, which was another 1500. That gives you the black painted roof, the blue calipers with the blue uh, logo, the hood stripe, the gloss black with the uh, tarnished accent. Uh, wireless charger, 10-speed automatic transmission, and yes, gas guzzler tax. So Ford has a gas guzzler tax. I'd say the uh, great country of the USA has a uh, gas guzzler tax. Uh, these brakes, brakes look pretty, pretty sweet. Uh, this is a big brim on the back, so it's going to be interesting to see if a 17-inch clears, because this is a 19-inch wheel, and I'll be honest with you, looking at this thing, I mean, that reminds me close to the GT500. I honestly think we're going to need GT500 wheels to clear this thing. Um, look at up front here. Got the big Brembos on the front too. Again, these things are massive. I mean, this is just a massive brake. Again, this reminds me a lot, we've had two of the 2020 Shelbys and I, I think these are gonna be similar. I think we're gonna need, um, for a drag pack, I think we're gonna need an 18 inch on the rear and a uh, 20 inch on the front. Uh, fortunately, I do have uh, a set of forge lines in stock, so we'll be able to test fit the forge lines uh, hopefully today and we'll be able to test fit some of the other wheels today. Uh, looking at the interior, now let's see here let's keep walking around the outside for a minute i mean this thing is the sun is just amazing on this look how the uh, sun bounces off over there the color it just looks like it color shifts uh, i did have an 04 mystic cobra back in the day which is really sweet it's not quite mystic but i'll tell you it does it does remind you a little bit of the mystic i mean it literally does seem like it changes colors depending on the angle so really 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 sweet um hood stripe the dark horse with the uh, appearance package mustang dark horse there and again we did the uh, black painted roof on the car got the uh, vented accents and they are they are they are truly vented you can't see the rain tray down in here now again as if you guys caught yesterday this brakes are hard a little bit apparently the uh, truck driver pulled it into the back of another car so unfortunately beachmont ford got two cars that were damaged my car and then this car was pushed into the bumper but body shops already looked at it they got a new bumper coming for it new grill they're going to get me taken care of on that and uh you know a lot of guys would be super irate and just you know beyond themselves but we're so happy to just have the car to get to go around and play with it and everything so and i know the guys down there do an amazing job joy that runs the body shop i worked with her for 14 years when i i sold cars at that dealership um and, and they'll do a good job on it
uh, black exhaust tips from the factory, which is pretty cool on the dual exhaust. We're going to see uh, how the uh, previous generation exhaust lines up on these things. We'll test fit one just for uh, shits and giggles. Uh, interior wise, again, the interior on this thing is just beautiful. We went with the, uh, again, you saw the black and blue accents. You got some beautiful blue stitching in this. Uh, you got the black seats, but the blue perforations in the middle. Try to get up close on that. So it gives it just a really sharp contrast in there. Uh, blue stitching all on the interior, which is uh, pretty sweet. So I just, I love the interior on this thing. Looks really good. Door panel, same thing. You've got the uh, blue accent and the door panel. So that looks really good. Uh, Dark Horse badge, number 276 of the Dark Horse. So I know Ford's been building these a lot. <clears throat> Luckily for us, we got towards the end of the builds when they started releasing them. So cars just started getting shipped this week, but I know there's guys that have had cars released for some time, uh, sitting just sitting on the lot, but until Ford releases uh, okay to buy, uh, or okay to sell, I guess they call it, uh, the cars just kind of sit there. Dark Horse emblem, pretty cool, looks neat. That's a good, let's go walk around on the outside. I'm going to close the door and just do a good circle around on it for you guys. Again, I just, it, light, little lights flash. They do all kinds of cool little things. You got the dark horse emblem. So we, we may have the very first wrecked 2024 Mustang, but who knows? Someone else out there may have cracked theirs up already. We didn't crack it up. But again, you see you've got the uh, you've got the same emergency type brake, just like they do on the 2020 Shelby's. I'm pretty sure it's going to take an 18 inch to clear these uh, rear brakes. But again, luckily we've got a set of forge lines in stock we can test fit. But I'm almost positive the 17s aren't going to clear the rear. All right, we're going to open the door up. Uh, we did it as if we were on the outside. From the time you open the door, your screens they start scrolling through. You know, it's kind of cool stuff there. You do have a second screen as well over here. Once we fire that up, you'll see the uh, Dark Horse logo. So you get the logo there on the other side. Depending on where it's at, it'll do different things. We haven't played with a lot of the gauges yet. This reminds us of uh, the old Fox body gauges. I think there's a lot of different settings in here. Definitely going to get through and play with the interior. That may have to be a different video. Let's turn the uh, climate control down a little bit here just so we can hear. Looks like that's got the uh, slider. But the screen system, again, just really cool. Goes all the way across. Uh, definitely some uh, neat stuff. You got some different modes there. Again, we'll get to playing through all them custom setups. Pretty, pretty badass looking on all the different gauges. Again, we're gonna, uh, we'll get through that. We'll play with a lot of the different settings that you can do and get into. Uh, I haven't read through the manual or anything yet, but we're gonna get in and do that. But for now, I just wanna give you all a nice little walk around of the car, let you check it out. Once I get familiar with the uh, screens and everything like that, we'll finish up, uh, we'll do another video for you. I did start playing around a little bit just uh, before I finished this video, I figured I would at least go through the uh, dash modes there. So if you look here, you see match driver mode, normal sport, track and calm. So if we look at the uh, gauges here, uh, we go to normal, kind of changes your color a little bit, you know, not much, doesn't really do anything. I guess that's the same as normal. Uh, sport mode, that gives you uh, more of the V shape, which is uh, kind of cool, a little, little different. Got your speedometer on the right, your tack on the left. You hit the track mode. Again, this reminds me of the GT500 uh, track mode as far as the, the top on it with your red line and everything like that. Um, you've got a calm mode, which just gives you the uh, a similar screen. This might actually be kind of nice at night so you don't have too much stuff staring in your face. Looks like it does have your uh, sp speed limit and stuff there too. And then, of course, your Fox body mode. This is uh, your 87 and 93 Fox body mode. So that's, uh, that's really cool as well. Pretty badass. It's neat how they incorporate in some of the old stuff. And the normal mode is uh, pretty badass too. They're, they're all pretty sweet. It does remind you of the Fox body mode. It's not exactly the same, but um, 
as far as the round, the positioning of the gauges and stuff. It's uh, the normal mode is like the Fox body mode as far as size and everything like that, just with a more modern feel. So pretty cool. Appreciate y'all uh, liking and subscribing. We're really going to try to do a lot with this car. We're going to get it out, uh, try to drive it, enjoy it, get it up to the shop, get it on the dyno in the next day or so. Um, I know Brian's got a couple cars up on our dyno. Uh, he's got to finish up, but we're going to get that done. It's so like and subscribe. We're going to do a big series on that. We're going to continue with the uh, F-150 as well. And then, of course, our uh, 2015 car that, you know, our goal is sevens with the 10-speed automatic on that this year. And, again, I appreciate all our customers. Don't forget to check out our Labor Day sales. Be running up to 25% off. we got some huge sales. Uh, Vengeance, uh, Viking, uh, McLeod, uh, Power Adders, anything you need, hit us up, beefcakeracing.com.